Why do we cry? Unraveling the emotional mystery. Tears are a universal human experience, transcending cultural boundaries and language barriers. We cry when we're happy, sad, frustrated, or even when we're touched by something deeply moving. But have you ever wondered why we cry? What's the purpose behind this seemingly involuntary act? In this video, we'll explore the multifaceted reasons why tears flow and the emotional, psychological, and physiological aspects of crying. Emotional Release One of the most fundamental reasons we cry is to release emotions. Crying is a natural response to intense feelings, whether they be happiness, sadness, anger, or relief. When emotions become overwhelming, tears provide an outlet, helping to reduce the emotional pressure that builds up within us. Crying is like a safety valve for our emotions, allowing us to regain our composure. Stress Relief Crying is not just about expressing emotions, but also about relieving stress. When we cry, our bodies release stress hormones and toxins, providing a physical and emotional release. This process helps us feel more relaxed and calmer after a good cry, which is why many people describe crying as therapeutic. Communication Crying serves as a powerful form of nonverbal communication. Infants, for example, use crying as their primary means of signaling their needs to caregivers. It's a way of saying, I'm hungry, I'm in pain, or I need comfort. Similarly, in adulthood, crying can convey our emotional state to others, letting them know when we're happy, sad, or in need of support. Social bonding Crying can also strengthen social bonds. When we witness someone else cry or when we cry in front of others, it can elicit empathy and compassion. These emotional responses foster connection and encourage social support, helping to build and reinforce relationships. Emotional Processing Crying can aid in emotional processing and problem-solving. It allows us to confront our feelings, sort through our thoughts, and gain insight into the underlying causes of our emotions. By shedding tears, we often come to terms with our experiences and find a sense of closure or resolution. Pain Relief Surprisingly, crying can have analgesic effects. Tears contain natural painkillers, including endorphins, which can alleviate physical and emotional pain. Crying can be a natural response to pain as a way to cope with and reduce discomfort. Evolutionary Perspective From an evolutionary standpoint, crying may have served various purposes. For infants, crying ensures that their needs are met, enhancing their chances of survival. In adults, the social bonding and communication aspects of crying may have contributed to the cohesiveness of early human communities. Conclusion Crying is a complex and multifaceted phenomenon that serves various emotional, psychological, and physiological purposes. It is an integral part of the human experience, allowing us to express our emotions, relieve stress, communicate with others, and strengthen social bonds. While the act of crying may be viewed as a sign of vulnerability, it is also a testament to our humanity, highlighting our capacity for empathy, connection, and emotional processing. So, the next time you find yourself shedding tears, remember that it's a natural and essential part of being human. Embrace your emotions, and let the tears flow when they need to.